Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I'm reviewing the Terramaster D1 SSD Plus, a portable SSD enclosure with a massive external heat sink. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company Terramaster. And in this video, I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money. Let's take a look at the items included in the box first. So there's the user guide, warranty info, a screwdriver, a pouch for the enclosure and this is quite thick feels really nice one thermal paste the enclosure and this cable this is rated for 80 gigabits per second transfer speed so that's two times faster compared to a Thunderbolt 4 there's no padding for the pouch but the material is quite thick and this texture feels soft and nice and this is the SSD enclosure, which is bigger than I expected. So this is how big it is compared to the very popular Samsung T7 or T9 SSD. So the main reason to get something like this is so that you can get faster transfer speeds and also you can use your own 2280 M.2 NVMe SSD. The build quality for this is exceedingly solid and if I remember correctly, this is aluminum alloy and there is a screw there so they can open this up rubber padding here so they can place this on the table without the metal scratching the table and you can see the fins, well, there are so many and they are quite thick this is, oh, this has some weight to it that's the Terramaster name and on this side we have the USB-C port so this supports Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 and backwards compatible with USB 3.2, 3.1 and 3.0 transfer speed is advertised to be up to 40 gigabits per second and that's the activity light let's open this up there is only one screw and this is a captive screw so when you turn it all the way the screw is not going to drop off for my test, I will be using the Western Digital Black SN750, which is a Gen 3 SSD. This enclosure can support Gen 4 SSDs, but my M2 Pro, MacBook Pro, probably won't be able to achieve the maximum speed, so I'm just using the Gen 3 SSD here. The other case already has this thermal pad applied, so you have to peel off the protective film before you put everything together. This assembly and installation is pretty straightforward. So let's connect this to my MacBook Pro to test. The price of this SSD enclosure is US $109 and that obviously does not include the SSD inside. So I'm testing the enclosure with my M2 Pro MacBook Pro. I have tested this yesterday for more than half an hour non-stop and this is the average speed that I was able to get about 1.1 megabytes per second write and 2.7 megabytes per second read so this to me is quite fast the transfer speed is fast enough to edit all this resolution for Blackmagic RAW and ProRes 422HQ and there's a little cross here for the write speed of ProRes 422HQ for 12K DCI 60. So this is definitely fast enough to edit the 4K videos that I work for and I don't think there will be any issues with 8K video. I'm actually not sure how to measure the efficiency of the heat dissipation but if you run this long enough this is still going to get really hot. So hot that you will not want to hold this in hand but of course you won't be holding this in hand anyway. Terramaster actually advertised the transfer speed to be up to 3.7 gigabytes per second write and 3.8 gigabytes per second read when they tested the enclosure with a Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte SSD with an Apple M4 Pro Mac Mini. So maybe the MacBook Pro that I have here is the limitation because the transfer speed that I measured is nowhere near the advertised transfer speeds. Anyway, to conclude, this is a well-made SSD enclosure and it works well and the transfer speed is still fast enough for most video editing workflow. So if you guys are interested by this, you can check out the purchase links in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.